namaste to everyone good morning welcome to the morning session namaste bhaiya namaste everyone so we can reflect on the assignment that we took yesterday reflect on the higher activities within yourself that is the activity of contemplation that is seeing the relationship and your role in relationship with all other units in the nature the activity of understanding that is seeing the harmony or the self organization in every unit in the existence and the activity of realization that is seeing the coexistence in existence that every unit in existence is in coexistence with space and with other unit every other unit refer to your natural acceptance reflect on the fact that we have a natural acceptance for the relationship harmony and coexistence because this is so this is the very design of the existence note down your observation in your journal so yesterday we started discussing the higher level activities of the self of contemplation understanding and realization before that we discuss in detail the activities in the lower block b2 and we discussed that which is imaging analyzing comparing selecting and testing and yesterday we talked about the activities of realization authentication understanding determination and contemplation so all our effort is for developing the higher level activities awakening to the activity of contemplation understanding and realization so that the lower level activities are guided now if any reflection is there any question is there regarding the words which are there in the diagram here you can ask so it will take time for us to awaken these activities of block v1 but the proposal has to be clear भैया नमस्ते भैया सभी को नमस्ते भैया जस्ट गो टू द प्रीवियस स्लाइड भैया असाइनमेंट असाइनमेंट भैया okay let me put the query bhaiya so in the second point ah uh, ji the second point it is said that it is the very design of existence uh, can you throw some light on it bhaiya the very design of existence is for relationship harmony and coexistence and seeing the existence is there relationship is already there harmony is already there the existence is already there the existence is like solid i only see it and align with it so for example if i am not able to see this then i may that i have to develop or create relationship i have to create harmony i have to create the existence so one may the the design of existence is by way of a struggle by way of this harmony by way of chaos so if you look at the here is many theories which got developed in the west so like there is materialism which is called as dialectical materialism so there is always a confusion two choices are there and if you go by one then the other gets disturbed to go by the other then first gets disturbed or one may assume that there is struggle in existence so these are various preconditionings or assumption of the we might be carrying within that the existence is like this only so if you do not understand the units in the nature rightly then we may assume that if i have to survive i have to predate on something if an animal has to survive it has to predate on something so the design the very design of nature is like there is predator and a sufferer in the nature but that is not so what we ask 
the very design of nature is by relationship not that one has to predate or one has to struggle or there is any chaos there is another theory in the science which is called as the chaos theory ultimately everything is there in a chaos or when we say that there has been a bing bang theory so and then suddenly something exploded right and this was just appeared and if it has appeared then something may happen in the time to come also so all those fears all those confusions contradictions apprehensions might be there in our imagination going by these theories so we can get assured that it's not so this is not like this this is like this only that there is relationship there is harmony there is coexistence there is no chaos or struggle or any such problem in the nature the very design of nature is not automatic in fact when i just did clearly i run into problems if you look at the whole existence every thing except human being is already on you just see that the earth has been revolving around the sun and it is just like this the earth is taking about its axis the plants are growing the wind is blowing you know the whole nature is like this birds animals insects all are there and they are in a particular order it's only that we do not understand and disturb this order i become unhappy because of doubts within and billions within mm-hmm. when i look uh, at an animal uh, killing a, a tiger killing bhaiya can you hear yeah. me then i feel that okay the whole nature is like this it has to kill somebody to survive so if i have to survive i will also have to kill somebody i will have to dominate i will have to create all those things will be required isn't it and then i start living with animal yeah, consciousness yeah. i think it's too true i may assume that uh if i am consuming plants i am killing something so if i can if i have to kill plants to survive then what if i kill something else also because the design of nature is by like this only you have to kill something to survive else then i have to even keep a cloth on my nose and mouth while i am breathing so that i do not kill the microorganisms so on one hand we feel like we have to kill things to survive on the other hand we feel that even if i breathe i am killing something i have to take precaution so this way we make our life very complex very difficult and all the time we are having so many wrong assumptions in us which keep on disturbing our relationship and bhai i was not asking about those theories i just want to have some examples Uh, to see the design of nature is like that that i am getting yes. stuck up um. so that's what so if i do not see this i may carry or i may be carried away by these theories so i may have those apprehensions those fears those confusions within me but i can see that it's not like that the very design of nature is by way of relationship by way of harmony by way of coexistence and not otherwise didi am i audible yes bhai yeah, you are audible yeah so that's what we are trying to say from here that if you look at the very design of nature there is a struggle in the nature there is no disharmony there is no chaos otherwise you may see if you talk to the people who are influenced by these theories that they always carry this kind of assumption within you know like there is a chaos in the existence there is uncertainty you cannot know anything if you look at the theories in physics like there is theory of chaos the principle of uncertainty you know so all those things are there 
what we are saying is that there is no uncertainty there is no chaos things are definite things are in order now if you look at the basic shift that is taking place here it's a very very big shift something that influenced the human society for the past 3 to 4 centuries it is getting challenged now so in itself it's a big shift in itself it's a big move towards working for the society if you want to know more about it i can explain otherwise if this is clear then fine didi because i was explaining this only that how due to wrong assumptions our imagination has got affected and we are always carrying some fear some doubt some confusion some apprehension within and we are not able to make out the right program we keep on complaining about problems in the society but at the same time we feel that there is no solution to it this is a very very complaining of problems but we feel that there is no solution also so we feel that okay there is all always going to be conflict in the society and you always have to keep on raising voice says and if you say that no there can be you might have heard of utopia so they say that now this is some think about the utopian society people do not have the confidence that they can live happily in continuity recently i came across one theory uh, which was proposed in a paper published in 2022 that says that uh, this con- working for you know sustaining happiness is a farce it cannot be achieved don't buy it just let me make my query uh, query clear i just want few examples bhaiya Uh, with the other units so that the very design of nature is coexistence what is the question uh, so what is being said here is that the very design of existence is by way of coexistence this is something which is being proposed here now what is ji. the question ah uh, ji ah uh, bhaiya my question was it is said that all other units are in mm-hmm. harmony if human beings are not there it would it would still exist in harmony so there i am getting stepped up by you only because of human beings the harmony is getting disrupted so previously uh, what we want to convey by you that without human existence all other units were in harmony means actually what did this mean And that i am not getting it by you see if you look at the complete proposal we are never saying that if human order was not there then it would have been much much better we are not we never saying this we are only saying that human order mm. has the potential to know but since the knowing is mm. not getting ensured so it is in disorder and creating disorder so we are not trying to say that let human being not be there not like this we are saying that the human being is already there and now we have to mm, make the mm. right program for the human being you see the whole paragraph here we are never saying that we are problematic for the existence and we should not be there no we are not saying this we are only saying that we need to know so that mm. the order in the existence which is already there gets fulfilled in our conduct mm. also so that we are able to fulfill the rest of nature see the animal has also self and mm. the animal and we keep on saying that animal living with animal consciousness is fine human mm. living with animal consciousness is not fine mm. Mm. so there is order in the nature but it's not that the self of the animal is happy we are not saying this it has only will to live and that living is being fulfilled so it is not creating any chaos in the forest or in the nature but we have the will to live with continuous happiness and since that is not getting fulfilled that's how we are in problems and we are creating problems
हां जी जी सो भैया टू कंक्लूड वी कैन से फॉर एग्जांपल द अर्थ इज रिवॉल्विंग द अर्थ इज रोटेटिंग ऑल प्लांट्स आर ग्रोइंग एनिमल्स आर किलिंग ओनली फॉर ईटिंग सो ऑल दिस वी आर कॉलिंग इट एज हार्मनी रिलेशनशिप इट इज गोइंग फाइन विदाउट एनी इंटरवेंशन yeah so there is a definite order being maintained so if you look at the nature because of carnivorous animals or herbivorous animals or birds insects plants okay it's not that the existence of various units is getting challenged they are there mm-hmm. and they are fulfilling each other and mm-hmm. they are there in such a quantity that the whole nature is sustaining like that mm-hmm. but because of us the nature is not getting sustained we are consuming much much more than what we require and that mm-hmm. also is certainly not feeling happy within so the focus is on the development of the self mm-hmm. so let the nature be as it is fine right but i want to be happy in continuity what is my program mm-hmm. for this mm-hmm. so i do not have to learn from animals or birds or plants okay i have to understand through self exploration on the basis of my natural acceptance mm mm you are not saying that you have to learn from plants you have to learn from animals you are not saying this mm mm you are only saying that you have to understand it we human okay, beings okay. have the potential to know none of the other units have the potential to know so you don't have to take inspiration from them Mm-hmm. we have to look into our natural acceptance and be in accordance with it and then you can be much more fulfilling than an animal or a plant mm-hmm. to the nature ji yes. ji okay bhaiya thank you bhaiya i got it cleared bhai thank you so much namaste bhaiya namaste हेलो नमस्ते भैया जी नमस्ते नमस्ते सभी को सब को एक्सप्लोरर्स को सभी को सभी मुख्य अतिथि सभी को नमस्ते मेरी मैं वो ना वेदर प्रॉब्लम है ना तो थोड़ी आवाज हो रही है हो रही है मैं आई एम ऑडिबल जी यू आर ऑडिबल जी 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 हां ऑडिबल आप बताइए प्रश्न क्या है बताइए जी जी सेल्फ रिफ्लेक्शन के बारे में बताना था कोएग्जिस्टेंस इन स्पेस और इन हार्मनी विद द नेचर एंड यस्टरडे वाज द वर्ल्ड डे फॉर द बीज तो वी सेलिब्रेटेड दैट इन आवर सोसाइटी एंड आल्सो सोसाइटियल यू नो केयर ऑफ दैट सेफ्टी देयर वाज अ बी हाइव वेरी बिग बी हाइव हियर इन द सोसाइटी एंड वी टोल्ड एवरीबॉडी Uh, today we are celebrating the world day of bees so be careful and you uh, we will be breaking that bee hive and uh, it's time for that to be broken but uh, we were that day we were not aware that it was world day but then we didn't did not uh, harm any bees and uh, with uh, due uh, care and safety of everybody we had uh, we were successful in doing that we closed all the windows and doors of the all society doors and uh, we were successful in that and uh, we are maintaining i uh, mean so with coexistence in space uh, with nature uh, without exploiting the uh, uh, trees and uh, the soil everything is maintained properly and also water conservation which is the need of the earth uh, because uh, global environment is changing and uh, with the coexistence and harmony in the society and uh, in the space of course we have to be alert and uh, take care of everyone and uh, and of course we wait, are doing uh, we can elaborate on this but the point to understand here is yes what do you think does the bee belong to the bio order or animal order uh bio 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 order so the mm-hmm. bees don't have the self ji yeah. so bees are not living things bees are not they just have respiration and growth so mm-hmm. yes so just like bees there are so many units in the nature yes. belong to the bio order so you have to preserve all of them you have to take Jee. care ha ji ha ji we may need 
yeah while doing production we take so many things from the bio water at the yeah. same time we have to see that we have to replenish the bio water ji yeah. that is what i wanted to share today that uh, we celebrated world day of bees yesterday which is 20th of may it was world day जी भाई धन्यवाद बोलने के लिए अवसर दिए धन्यवाद बढ़िया दीदी ठीक है भैया वी कैन गो टू द स्लाइड नाउ सो दिस इज व्हाट वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग दिस स्टडी जी भैया इन दिस आई वाज रिक्वेस्टिंग यू टू रिपीट इफ पॉसिबल टू एक्सप्लेन द स्टेट एक्टिविटी एंड डायनेमिक एक्टिविटी फॉर बी वन ब्लॉक लाइक इफ यू आर सेइंग रियलाइजेशन दैट्स अ स्टेट एक्टिविटी विद इन मी और विद इन अस एंड व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑथेंटिकेशन हाउ इट बिकम्स डायनेमिक एक्टिविटी सिमिलरली फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग डिटरमिनेशन yes bhaiya so state activity is the activity the content of which gets established in me and the dynamic activity is the natural decision to be in line with this so for example if you look at tasting i eat rasgulla and the sweet taste taste gets established in me or gets stated in me and then next time when i have to select i go for rasgulla so this is a decision in me based on testing i tested something else and i it was having very bad taste it also gets stated in me next time when i see this then i make green message on my face and just move from there similarly in comparing something gets stated in me that this is give going to give me more profit and this is going to give less profit now with that i analyze for example if i am trading in stock market then you know i am trying to get maximum profit profit from there <clears throat> then with that comparing of profit which has got established in me i am analyzing where to invest how to invest when to invest isn't it similarly if you look at contemplation so the right feelings get stated in me or established in me now with that i image a happy and prosperous life that okay happy family means ensuring trust ensuring respect so i try to image how this family can be in such a way that everybody is trusting everybody else everybody is respecting everybody else then now when i imagine about a happy and prosperous family of mine it's not limited to physical facilities or sensation but rather i am able to contemplate on the feelings i am able to focus on the behavior i am able to focus on the development of the self of every human being in the family similarly the understanding of nature gets stated or established in me and with that i get naturally determined to work accordingly so if i am able to see the harm in the nature then whatever decisions i have to take in my life would be in accordance with that so if i have to take food i know how i have to produce food if i have to wear clothes i know how to produce clothes if i have to make houses i know what would be the design of houses what would be the you know, basic understanding of making the houses so that it is not disturbing the nature or even fulfilling the nature so i get naturally determined similarly with realization of coexistence i am able to see the basis for all that exists and my all activities get in line with that this is authentication so the natural decision in me to have all my activities in line with coexistence is authentication so something that gets established or stated in me is there as a state activity and the decision based on that is the dynamic activity
एंड मे द डिसीजन मे वेरी और मे बी डिफरेंट इन डिफरेंट वे बट द स्टेट इज फिक्स विद इन मी मींस इफ यू लुक एट ब्लॉक बी1 देन द डिसीजन इज ऑलवेज द सेम सो ऑथेंटिकेशन वुड ऑलवेज बी फॉर कोएक्जिस्टेंस determination would always be for harmony but if you look at imaging there would be a variety so the essence will remain the same with right understanding the essence of imaging will be the same that will be human goal but there would be a variety in plans programs when i go to analyze it further similarly with right understanding not without right understanding the comparing would be complete now it is guided by coexistence harmony and relationship now there is a variety when i when it comes to analyze so for example the connection was not proper i was there in the park outside i found that the connection not proper so with the feeling of relationship i can move to a point where connection is proper so there is a variety in the choice of a spot from where i have to uh, be a part of this session there is a variety there but the essence would be and you know, something which is definite so when it comes to make plans programs etc then you know the essence remains the same but the form or the expression becomes different as per the situation or surrounding similarly i am always testing continuity of happiness right with right understanding but when it comes to selection then i have to see how i have to participate in the universal human order to make everyone happy so depending on the other person we make selections so with right understanding in block b1 right there is continuity there is definiteness in block b2 the essence will remain definite that would be based on relationship harmony and coexistence but the form would be different at times so like presently also we have one hour of english session and another hour of hindi session so the presentation is different but the essence will remain the same the form has changed may i pay focus only on dynamic activity then uh, like in lower level block b2 that may vary but in case of high level activity that that also doesn't vary means authentication uh, determination they are also uh, not going to change means i have uh, authentication of coexistence of determination of harmony yeah so in block b1 okay. yeah in block b1 you see that there is no change but in block b2 both with the dynamic activity as well as the state activity the essence will remain the same the form will change so based on the information that i get from outside so when i am comparing between various options also i look at the options available now my basis for comparing is justice right but with that i will compare various options So, for example, when you go to a workshop, you are conducting a workshop. So, with a feeling of relationship, you are talking to everybody. Okay, but we may compare that at this point of time. Let me talk to this set of people, and at another point of time, let me talk to this set of people. That is possible. So, the choices are varying here, but the essence is of relationship. It, it is of justice. I have to ensure health of the body. So, the feeling is there of self-revelation. isn't it so now the comparing is for always health but the food that i have to take the way i have to you know keep my body all those things may change depending on the situation so when we go to the south we'll have one kind of food but mint for health when we go to the north we'll have another kind of food but mint for health when we move to some other country there will be some other kind of food but again meant for health so my selection would always be for health but when i have to compare between various options so what to take one not to take so i'll compare as well as analyze 
so the information depending on the information that i am getting from the body i will utilize these activities in block b2 and since they are guided by block b1 so the essence will remain the same now in block b1 we have the essence there is no form isn't it form means something that can vary from time to time so that is not there in block b1 it is there in block b2 I think I was uh, thinking in that way earlier that uh, the state, state activity when we are saying that is something within us and dynamic activity is that one like when we are making some decision to perform outside uh, any behavior or any work so at that time the way we are executing it means the decision we are making to execute outside. So that part I was thinking like dynamic uh, in case of B1, B2, but uh, now it gives me an idea that, uh, yeah, means uh, realization is the state activity and the authentication is also definite within us or determination. Higher level activities are uh, definite within us and the way may vary once it is guided and it is guiding the lower level activities. Am, am I correctly? Okay. So only thing that makes a difference the way you express that it is not always outside, it can be inside also. In place of saying outside, we can just say that it is a natural decision be to be in line with that. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm not always expressing in terms of words. Mm -hmm. I'm not always working physically with my hands. So I may select sometime that no let me sleep i am not going to work on the rest of nature sometime i can decide to go and work with the rest of nature so sometime it is getting expressed by the body sometime not so the decision is there so decision is not always to express outside but the decision is there to be in line with something so yes, that's yes, how it is continuous yes. when i have to express yes. outside it is not continuous right right me <laughs> very means uh, I should say precise thing yes precision has to be worked. thank you very nice Bia sir good morning sir good morning to all good is it audible sir audible yes uh, sir um, uh, regarding the uh, the question is regarding B1 and B2 uh, block and need a clarity sir uh on contemplation with the imagination, uh, with the right understanding, we could be able to uh, uh, understand the uh, B1 level. Is it right, sir? No, say it again. Sir, uh, with the right uh, contemplation on right understanding, continuously monitoring the imagination and uh, time to time, with the right understanding, we could be able to uh, understand and live with the uh, coexistence under uh, the block B1. So some words I think can be placed in a better way. So with contemplation, understanding and realization. Yes, sir. I want to see the reality as it is. And then my imagination is guided. So in place of saying monitoring, I'll say that now it is guided. And I have to guide my imagination based on right understanding in place of monitoring it. Monitoring is somewhat controlling. Okay, sir. So it becomes somewhat external. You know? Okay. So it's not that. I have to be in line with my innate nature. I do not have to exert anything on my imagination. So, uh, if if we don't guide the uh, contemplation, sir. Or, see, see, uh, contemplation is not to be guided. Okay, sir. Contemplation itself is guidance. Is the guidance. Sir. So, block B1 is the guidance that I get from inside. Okay, sir. So it's an innate nature of uh, all the human being. Yes. So does this uh, B1 is being affected by uh, B2 uh, uh, continuously uh, uh, without, uh, um, for example, we, we are uh, mainly focusing on B2. Does it affect B1, sir? No. B1 is not affected by B2. 
It's only that it, in B2, we are no, not doing the right thing. Then B1 will not get awakened. That is all. But so, it will not be affected. It is pure. So our understanding is based upon the uh, uh, state activity, like for example, comparing and then uh, tasting. So we try to get some experience and that has been uh, uh, been stored as a uh, wrong, for example, uh, some wrong understanding. So does it affect the... Uh, understanding is not wrong. It's only that it has not got developed. It cannot be the case that through comparing to develop wrong understanding, not possible. Okay. Thank you, sir. It's only the case that if I am not doing the comparing rightly, then I may be I may get conditioned to live like that, and understanding will not get developed. But when I try to do the comparing rightly, based on my natural acceptance, then awakening starts taking place in the self. So block B2 can never make the block B1 impure. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Nice. Nice, yeah. Sir, uh, I need clarity on these two things, sir. One in fourth, thought, profit, and uh, another one in fifth, guided sensation. Profit and guided sensation, I need more clarity, sir. Okay. So... When I'm able to see the whole existence as coexistence, I'm able to see harmony in the nature. I'm able to see the relationship. Then now when I go to compare between the options, so we are always having this guidance. For example, when I have to share food, now when I go by profit, okay, so I'll try to take the maximum and give the minimum to the other if it is unguided. But when it is guided, I'll feed the other first and then eat. So now my thought has changed. You just see what happens in the joint families. Why the families gonna get split? Because many times we are working for profit and not for relationship. So for individual profit, we disturb the whole setup in the family. And the families get split. Or there is chaos in the family or feud in the family. Similarly, if you talk about the sensation or senses, then there also, when I have to share food, so if I see with relationship, I'll try to serve the better food to my relative and, and then take the rest for me. But if I'm looking for senses, I'll try to eat the tasty food first and then leave the rest for the other. Similarly, if my Comparing for health or consumption is unguided. I'll try to consume as much as possible and also accumulate for the rest of the time if I am not guided properly within. But if it is guided, then I'll try to take only that much which is required for ensuring health of the body and I'll also do some physical work with the body and then try to take care of my relative also, ensuring health of my relative. So it is guided by justice, I put relationship on a higher priority. If it is unguided, then I put profit or senses or you know, consumption on a higher priority. So now my priority shifts and also it is now guided. So I will work for profit now, but that will be for mutual uh, prosperity. Presently, we do not talk about mutual prosperity, we talk merely about profit. But you will just see that in the long run, if you have to sustain a business, then you have to look for mutual prosperity. You have to see that the person who is consuming your production, the produced goods, is satisfied. So that's why you can see that today we are talking about customer satisfaction so much. We are talking about user experience. You make any kind of app for the mobile and if the user experience is not good, people will not opt for it. So we are going for these things, but again, the motive behind is to earn as much as possible. Yes. Okay. Yes. So instead of profit, mutual prosperity may be the right feeling. Yes. So in place yes. of profit, now I'll work for mutual prosperity. In place also, of sensation, now I'll take care of health of myself as well as my relative. Yeah. 
Yes, in expectation, there is a guided sensation, last sentence. So I thought yeah. uh, sensation itself is not a, uh, uh, not a, uh, not as per natural acceptance. So what is this guided sensation? You know, previously we have this preconditioning and sensation uh, the reason for my uncomfortable state or my enslaved state. So this guided sensation, is it... Uh, aligning myself with natural acceptance or yes that's yes. it is not aligning with my natural acceptance because earlier i may not see the sensation as it is so i was trying to fetch happiness through sensation now i'm no longer trying to fetch happiness through sensation okay okay i am trying to make right utilization of the sensation so presently also when we are talking we are utilizing the sensation by listening to the sound of each other, by looking at the slide in front. Now we are making the right utilization. Yes. But if I we, if we try to fetch happiness through sound, okay, then we'll not focus on the meaning, but we'll try to focus on how the sound is getting produced so that it is more melodious, you know? <laughs> but that will not serve the purpose. Yes. Guided sensation means it's fulfilling the purpose. Yes. Using it for Thank using you. it for. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yes. Can say this. Nice, Bia. Any other question? Bia, can we go to the next slide? Now, if you look at the whole thing, then on one hand, we have to work for realization within verifying at the level of natural acceptance all the time, trying to look into the proposal, trying to refer to our natural acceptance. At the other end, we have to work for validation in our living. And that is the expression outside. So on one hand, we are working for realization within. On the other hand, participating in the larger order, we are working for universal human order and human tradition. So these are two ends and we have to keep both of them in focus as we draw the diagram for self-exploration so we say that okay proposal is there i verify the proposal within and i validate in my living now validation is expression outside verifying within is something that i'm doing inside and we see that the two are complementary the more i try to verify i am able to validate better and the more I'm able to validate, I'm able to verify with, within better. So the two complement. If you leave one and try to work for the other only. For example, I feel that, okay, why should I go outside and interact with people, behave with people? If the natural acceptance is within me and I can see by myself <clears throat> and while seeing, I don't need it, even my body. So why do you take all this pain you know, of going and interacting with the society? earning for my family, producing children, why should I do that? It may be a possibility that while doing this, I am only working at the level of thought, log V2. And I may assume that I am going by my natural acceptance, but actually I am not doing that. For example, I am trying to contemplate on relationship. And I can see that there are people in my family, people in the society who are not happy. So how it can be that I leave them unhappy and I try to contemplate on relationship, it will not work. Then I'll only analyze what relationship means, what the proposal says, what this word says, and how the meaning of the two words are different. You now what is intention, what is natural acceptance, are the two the same or even different at some point of time. I keep on analyzing all those things. But I will seldom look at my relative and try to see whether the other is happy or not. So it is very natural that when I work for realization within, I will naturally participate in the larger order and up to the universal human order. Why will I limit myself to my close family of four or five people? Why will I limit myself to my country? I will work for the entire humanity. While uh, working with the rest of nature, why will I just think of fulfilling the needs of people in my family? Why will not, I not also think of the rivers, the mountains, the oceans, 
I'll try to see my relations with all. If fulfilling the needs of physical facilities for my family, the nature is getting exploited. It becomes a concern for me. Even though the needs are getting fulfilled, but I can see that, okay, the pollution is going up, the resources are getting depleted. So is it the right program? So no, it is not the right program. So when I work for right understanding, I work for realization within on one hand and on the other hand, participating in the universal human order and human tradition. So my participation with the human being in terms of mutual happiness goes up to undivided society. My participation with the rest of nature in terms of work goes to fulfill mutual prosperity, goes to ensure mutual prosperity. And my participation in the larger order is in terms of fulfilling the human goal and I am able to participate in the universal human order. So you'll see that gradually our vision is expanding. Maybe that we have not been able to awaken the high level activities of block B1, but still now we have broader vision of relationship. Earlier, maybe we are trying to just fulfill our spouse and feel unhappy many times in a day that I'm not even able to fulfill this person, right? And I'm always trying to you know, invest all my self trying to fulfill a single person. It is not working. What to do? We might have this kind of confusion. But when I contemplate on the feeling of trust, the feeling of respect, I can see that intention of every human being is pure. Every human being and I have the potential, the same purpose, the same program to be happy. So why to work only for one person? I'm able to see my relations with everyone. And when I do this, the other person also gets a relief. If the other person is not ready to understand and I try to you know, make the other understand or go my way, the other person is also suffering. So when I'm not able to see my relationship with all, then I'm not able to fulfill with some also. When I'm not able to see that intention of every human being is pure, then I'm not able to be confident about the intention of a single person also. So the more I participate in the larger order, the more I'm able to get the meaning of relationship, harmony and coexistence. In fact, when I have to participate in the larger order, then there will be points of time when I have to analyze, I have to select, go this way or that way. Maybe I can see that there is uh, disharm in the society and people are suffering. So should I just limit myself to the boundary of my house or go outside and try to work with them, try to work for their happiness? Should I just use my physical facilities for my body or do I need to invest it for others also? So there would be points of time when I have to take such decisions. And those decisions, let me contemplate on the relationship. But okay, now I can see that relationship holds a higher priority over physical facilities. Isn't it? So I will not think in terms of accumulation or indulgence. I will think in terms of relationship. I will think in terms of ensuring harmony in the entire nature. So when I have to take such decisions, I have to make these selections, then my conditionings get challenged, get questioned. And when I am able to overcome them, then only I am able to contemplate on the right feeling. Otherwise, those conditionings are there within and I am always restricted by those conditionings. So you will see that uh, even though we are discussing the proposals, we are sharing our reflections but still we might be carrying so many assumptions within then let me leave it to this thing only okay this much is enough and we are not able to cross certain th thresholds in the whole process of exploration we'll get multiple thresholds when you have to prioritize you have to prioritize relationship over physical facility you have to prioritize right understanding over physical facility you have to prioritize self over the body you have to prioritize awakening of the self over just working for the body. And we might not cross th these thresholds at times. But if I am able to cross those thresholds, then we we'll see that a shift take place, takes place in our imagination. And there is a possibility that at those points of time, the awakening also takes place. For example, seeing the difference in self and body. 
in terms of language we may get condition to think in a particular way okay what they are saying is that self is different from the body okay nice when i analyze also i find this okay it could be their self is different from the body but when i have to make a choice that do i go for only working for the body or i have to awaken the self and this is my priority in life then i may face some restriction within i may not opt for it if i am able to opt for awakening at those points of time also then awakening will take place so you'll see that in the process of self exploration on one hand we are working for realization within and we are working for expression in the entire existence our participation in the entire existence and we are not only thinking of this generation we are thinking of all generations to come even though we are able to survive but how will the next three generations survive how will people survive after 2100 if you consume all the oil all the resources okay create so much of pollution have so many nuclear bombs that you know every country every district has got a nuclear bomb will they sort survive so we we'll have to think in that manner so think over it we are can go to the next slide but there is no time today so i think yeah we'll talk about this tomorrow we we'll look at the whole existence yeah we can keep the previous slide only so here something to observe is whether i am able to see both the ends within that on one end we have to work for realization on the other end we have to work for participating in the larger order up to universal human order or human tradition okay is that included in my vision or not or is it so that i am only you know they are in my family talking about these things every day interacting with uh, people but i am very confined i am not able to see my relationship with all i am participating in the programs okay but i am not able to commit myself for universal human order i am not able to commit myself for human tradition so this is some kind of test that i can conduct within am i able to see my relationship with all am i able to see my participation with all i am able to see my responsibility for all so let us think about it let us observe it okay let us try to contemplate on the relationship with all nice so we'll keep up to here and then we'll discuss further